Well, here at Elections and Registration's main office, where advanced voting continues, Elections has received some reports that people who have applied for absentee ballots have not yet received them. So we talked to Elections Director Janine Eveler about what those people should be doing now. We have received calls from voters who say they haven't received the ballot that we've mailed them. Of course, once it goes out in the mail, we really don't know uh, what the problem might be for them not getting it. So they have a couple of options. Of course, they can uh, go vo vote early or on Election Day, or they can submit a cancel and reissue form, which is on our website. It is getting a little bit too late uh, now to mail the ballot out to the voters with a reissue, so they really need to take some action pretty quickly. If you get a, a last ballot that you're, uh, that you're getting just at the late, late time in the mail, then you can either hand deliver it to our main office or we will have what we call last call absentee ballot drop off locations that we will have our staff at seven of our libraries and they'll be able to take your ballot and process it right at that location. Uh, so that is a new pro product that we're putting out just in Cobb County. And again, this is an advanced voting day. I'm here at the uh, main office at 995 Roswell Street. And usually the second to last day of advanced voting, one of the busiest days of advanced voting. But we've had zero wait time here much of the day, thanks in part to the new pull pad pilot project that Cobb County is participating in. So if you do need to do advanced voting on Friday, the odds look good that you can get in and out. Advanced voting has been a complete success. We've had uh, 150,000 plus voters come through our 13 locations and there have been virtually no lines. So the new process that we're using with the new poll pads has been extremely successful.